Hello everybody and welcome to yet another video by the Vaidya's Chess Hub and this video uh, is uh, you know due to a special request by one of our subscribers who wants to know about the Queen's Gambit decline. So uh, I, let me make it clear that this will be one of the videos in this series because you cannot explain all the ideas involved in just one video. It's practically not possible. There are so many ideas. So my um, idea is that we will split them up into different videos. Uh, so this will be the first video in that series about the Queen's Gambit decline. Now just before we start, very quickly let me tell you that uh, playing a certain opening or knowing a certain idea doesn't guarantee you a victory or a, a significant advantage simply because you know the moves. It's of course the skill that you display over the board, uh, how you continue from there or you know, do you understand the logic behind your moves, that really matters. So you might play using these ideas against a strong opponent or a grandmaster and then you play 10 games, you'll be beaten all on all those 10 occasions, let me assure you. So the point is that you must keep the general ideas in your mind but just because you you know, you play a certain opening and you understand it or ideas behind it doesn't guarantee you a victory. So please go ahead and study this. Uh, but of course, there's nothing uh, better than actually using it in one of your games. So go ahead and play games using these ideas and see whether it is as fruitful for you uh, as it is uh, in some of my games. So let's get started with this um, by the way when I say the Queen's Gambit it uh, the second move of white is typical it's c4 and if you don't understand what is the meaning of the term Gambit I sincerely suggest that you go and watch our exclusive video on chess terms I, ha I will provide the link in the description so please feel free to watch that video as well and you'll learn so much about some of the terms used in chess so Queen's gambit. This is typical. And now, if we, ha if you were to accept the gambit, um, Black will accept this offer of the c4 pawn. But since this is about Queen's gambit decline, um, there are a number of moves Black can play. Black can go into the Slav playing the c6. Uh, Black can go for the Queen's gambit decline by playing e6. Uh, but what I'm going to talk about today is the very modern and uh, increasingly is getting popular this particular idea is known as a martial refutation and uh, the idea is to play knight to f6 here so we will talk about in this video we will talk about the idea of knight f6 as a as a refutation to queen's gambit so let's get uh, started with this knight f6 and now here white has a couple of uh, moves he can either take the pawn on d5 or continue with something else. However, at the moment, we'll continue with c takes d5 in this particular video. Uh, the idea is white thinks that after this particular move, if black chooses to recapture with a knight immediately on d5, uh, white could press him with the move like e4. So black actually doesn't need to immediately recapture here. So black can just play c6. And here, definitely, uh, white has two playable moves. He can take the pawn, c, uh, d takes c6, or he could go for the knight, c3. Um, now, we will first take a look at um, the d takes c3 part. So, after d takes, sorry, d takes c6 part, d takes c6, and the knight takes c6, knight f3, um, and e3 are the only choices because if you if you notice that after this recapture black is attacking this uh, d4 pawn twice so the um, playable options are knight to f3 and e3 so knight f3 e5 now here the point is that really white would not like to take this because of uh, you know queen takes queen check and it's quite bad so e3 and then comes uh, the move there, there are choices you can play e takes d4 bishop b4 check i recommend black plays e takes d4 and after knight takes d4 knight takes d4 and e takes d4 
this game will be about this isolated d4 pawn. Uh, black is at the moment a pawn down, but this is an isolated pawn on d4. And uh, if the game continues this way, bishop d4 check, bishop d2, bishop takes, queen takes, black castles, knight c3. Uh, black should definitely have a playable position, although white is leading by a pawn, which is the isolated d4 pawn. Going back to the line with bishop b4, yes, that is playable indeed. Bishop b4 check, bishop d2, bishop takes d2, queen takes, and after e takes d4, knight takes, knight takes, e takes d4, castling, knight c3, bishop g4, f3, and bishop e6, bishop e2, queen uh, to b6, and castles. Rook a d8, rook f a d8 is also possible here but rook a d8 is better rook f d1 um, and this is again very um, equal position i would say um, one thing i want to point out is that this particular variation where uh, going back to my plan to show you what happens if white does not take it if you place knight c3 here Black can actually then take on d5 himself, and after bishop f4, knight c6, if here, now, it's a typical idea uh, in amateurs and intermediate levels, you'll see, to aim for this particular weak c7 square here. If um, white pushes for this idea of playing knight b5, and then with the support of the bishop, try to go for the fork knight c7, there is an interesting idea that black should know. She push e5 and after d takes e5 because black will not be able to capture there now on e5. He doesn't have to. The move is knight e4. Now this is indeed remarkable. If really after this uh, white is not careful, he'll fall really into the world of agony. Because he has got only one good move here. Knight d6 check. Bishop takes, pawn takes and after queen b6 again he has only one move which is bishop e3 we'll take a look at what happens with e3 and after this move knight f3 castles and uh, if he wastes time developing his light color bishop this way then he's bound to lose the game because after knight c3 here black's threats are un unstoppable because this queen the, is tied to the defenses of this rook the queen is being attacked if the queen moves, uh, there's always this checkmate threat on e2. This is really, really bad. This is bad. Uh, this is almost a lost position. In fact, you can put this in any engine to find out for yourself. Um, going back to my plan to show you, if after queen b6, if white uh, tries to stop this, the, of course, the idea is checkmate here on, sorry, on f2. If white tries to stop this by playing e3, in fact, it is checkmate in 4 from here. Uh, queen b4 check. Of course, not queen d2 because queen takes d2 is made on the spot. And after king e2, queen takes b2, the mate will follow on uh, the f2 square if the king goes back or else in this manner. So... This is definitely what something uh, both the players should know. Uh, but especially if you see this blunder committed by white when you have the black pieces playing the move e3, should know that it's made in 4 after that. And going back to this position, here the only move, as I mentioned already, is knight d6. That's the only move here. Uh, but if, let's say, white uh, thinks f3, then bishop b4 check wins a piece uh, more than that in fact because now uh, bishop d2 is simply not possible queen will have to be sacrificed and if knight to c3 uh, let's say this is a new variation then after knight takes and you will definitely see that it's losing uh, one more try could be to play a3 to stop bishop b4. The idea is to stop bishop b4, but it really doesn't work that way because, again, the, the move is queen b6. It's a fork. 
and is attacking this knight and also threatening this checkmate here on f2. So those are the ideas that you must be aware of and uh, study this particular idea of the, the, I mean, it's called the Marshall Refutation. Study this idea. I repeat that this will only be the first video. There are more to follow. I hope that uh, you will study these moves very carefully and try to avoid the gambit at least until the next video by playing knight f6 and um, hope I was able to add to your knowledge. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for watching this video. Leave your suggestions and comments and up until next time, uh, keep playing, keep enjoying, keep learning chess. Thank you so much. Cheers.